So uh, this started as a pretty big piece of stone. It was a beautiful uh, kind of cut, machine cut um, block with very hard edges at the front, hard edges, soft curve, with hard edges both sides. And what I wanted to do was um, uh, put a, a couple of things together. This this uh, sphere represents um, uh, good things in my life. So it's a very personal kind of thing. So these are all good things, like my lovely wife and my beautiful boys and you know positive things in my life. And this is my hand, sort of in cartoon fashion, but resting. Holding, resting, supporting, pulling, pushing. So there's a tension there and there's a kind of fluidity in the in the sphere. It didn't mean to be a globe. So if anyone says it doesn't look like a globe, it's not supposed to be a globe. It kind of just has a form, a kind of fluid, you know, good form. And then as we were doing it with the help of Hannah and Paul, this, this uh, element really... Um, just started to, to evolve really and originally I thought well like you know teardrop or you know something like that but I thought that was a bit wet um, and uh, we decided that perhaps a, a good thing because I like um, text in stone and I've been doing some letter carving and putting text in stone so um, decided to flatten it and carve the letters, uh, carve the words clarity and unity which I've used before in some carvings. But this shape developed which is it's beautiful and you know it can be it's a number that could be half a heart, you know hand on heart or you know a, a teardrop or you know whatever but it is a good malleable uh, shape which has movement. So the movement is all kind of like that and I enjoyed doing it. And the letter R was done by Paul Crabtree, not me.